what's up you two? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this awesome Optimus Prime statue from Transformers. I would also like to point out that I have made Optimus Prime in his truck form as well. If you want to make this, I'll be leaving a link down below in the description and in the card system too. It should be very easy to find. And all that I ask is if you enjoy this video, please hit that like button. It helps me out so much, it really does. But without any further ado, let's roll out. So before we begin, I should tell you that Optimus only requires a 13 block by a 5 block area to make. 13 blocks left to right and about 5 blocks front to back. It's not a big area. We also need all of these materials that you can see in my hotbar and my inventory right now. Make sure that you have absolutely every single one of these. I don't think we'll need any more, however, I am very forgetful, so I apologize in advance. Grab everything, pause the video if you have to, and we can begin. Now, let's say that you have made this grid in your world, only because it would make things easier for this next part. If you have made this grid, you want to start on the front left-hand corner of it, you want to work your way to the right by 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then you want to start with a stone slab on the ground, in that position. Then, place a stone slab to the right. Place blue concrete behind the slabs. On top of the left slab, place a stone slab, and on top of the right blue concrete, place a blue concrete. On top of that, place a cobblestone wall, and on top of that, place a hopper. Left of the hopper, place a blue concrete. You might have to crouch. There we go. And you also want to place a blue concrete on top of the hopper as well, and once again, you'll probably have to crouch. We then want to place upon the blue concrete, place a light gray concrete, Place a light grey concrete going left, and also place a light grey concrete on top. Perfect. Place a grey concrete upright diagonally from the light grey like this, and place from that dark grey concrete two stone slabs moving left, one, two, this is the upper half specifically so you have a gap. And also, two stone slabs moving right as well, like one, two, like that. The upper half, specifically so you don't leave a gap once again. And from the grey concrete, you want to place a light grey concrete bottom down to the right. Place a light grey concrete underneath that, and then to the right. Also place a blue concrete underneath the light grey. And then a hopper underneath. You want to place a blue concrete to the right of it, and also a cobblestone wall below it. Then, place a blue concrete moving down to the ground from the cobblestone wall, and extend the blue concrete right by one that hit the ground. Place a stone slab on top, with stone brick slabs in front of that. So, what we should have should look very much like this, ladies and gentlemen. This is a pretty decent start. This is Optimus Prime's legs. And once you have made the front of his legs, I know that looks a little weird now, we're going to move up to the torso a little bit. So, we're going to start on top of this row of slabs and the grey concrete. And beginning from the left, going right, we want to place a light grey concrete, dark grey, Light grey, dark grey, light grey. Then, going from left to right on top of this, we want to... Well, we actually need new materials. Actually, well, get rid of stone slabs and the cobblestone wall and the hoppers for a little bit. And grab some stone brick stairs. And, funnily enough, we'll need some quartz slabs and grab some black stained glass too. Okay, so on top of this row, going from left to right, we want to place a red concrete. Followed by a stone brick stair. And then a solid stone brick block, you can use the slabs for that. Then a stone brick stair, red concrete. Then we want to repeat this row, okay? So you want to then place red on top of the red, the stairs on top of the stairs, and the, uh, the stone brick on top of the stone brick, just like that. Then we want to place a row of red concrete directly on top of all this, right? So just box it in using red. Then, take the three middle blocks, speci specifically the three middle blocks, and extend them towards you using red concrete. 
place a quartz slab going left of the red concrete and the right red concrete take the like the top left side and the top right hand sides respectively and then extend them out then place an additional quartz slab moving outwards and place an additional quartz slab underneath that to turn it into a quartz block so like you're, you're sort of looking for this sort of thing right here we then want to on top of the quartz blocks place two red concrete one two one two and also the very middle block of the red, this one right here, one, two. Place glass in between all of this, so glass in between all of the red concrete. And you should end up with something that should look exactly like this. Now, I mean, we're kind of missing mater a material for this next part, in which we want to place a row of never brick slabs directly on top of everything that we've just made, alright? So directly on top, a row of never brick slabs directly behind it. Uh, for this next part, we also need some yellow concrete. So behind the never brick slabs, uh, starting from either the left or the right, it doesn't matter, it's the same pattern either side. Uh, you want to do this, you want to place a red concrete, yellow, Three red, one, two, three, yellow, and a red. Just like that. Now, once you have done that, I feel as though it's time for us to make the body a little bit thicker. Optimus Prime's a pretty thick boy, and he wants to be a little bit thicker. He, he looks a bit weird in 2D. Okay, so we want to take... So, I want you to place three red concrete coming back from the quartz blocks. One, two, and three. And on the opposite side too, one, two, and three. Now, join these blocks together in the middle like this, like that. And what you can do, by the way, I, do, I don't know how this is gonna look, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you to do it anyway. Place black concrete behind the, uh, the actual glass blocks like this. And we'll see how that looks in a second. But, what you pretty much want to do is you want to fill in all of this space here, this red platform that we've created. You want to fill all of this space in using red concrete like this to create a nice solid block coming all the way up to the top of the Optimus Prime statue. So you essentially want to end up with this big 3D rectangular shape like this and that is going to be the bulk of like Optimus's chest and back. Now, once you have done that, moving a little lower down, where we have the red concrete and the stone bricks, you want to place a row of red behind these two rows. So, like, the red and the stone brick rows, simply extend them backwards using your stone bricks. Like that. Or using your red concrete, I should say. Now, behind all of the... Uh, behind all of the... Uh, light grey and the dark grey, we're going to place light grey concrete and we're also going to place an additional light grey behind the centre, dark grey concrete and behind the light grey concretes that we have uh, up at the top of the legs, we want to extend these backwards as well but the difference here is we also want to add an additional block in the corners on the back so like here for instance and here and we also want to do a similar thing like behind the inner stone slabs we also want to place an additional light grey concrete so like this if you can see and then we want to place behind all of the blue and the pistons and whatever else we have here, the, the hoppers, the cobblestone wall, we want to place behind all of this, we want to create two long straight rows of blue concrete, like this. So coming from top to bottom, like this. So this is what it, it looks like on the back. It's vastly different from the front. Oh, what you can also do too, is you can extend the remaining slabs backwards using stone slabs like this just so that, you know, that looks a little bit better from the front and sides too. And uh, the effect that we're looking for should be this, like when you now look at it from the front, it looks a lot more impressive, doesn't it? I, I like how that looks a lot more. However, we do have a couple more things to, ha to add. Uh, Optimus has wheels on the sides of his legs, and uh, they are positioned like where we have these stone slabs on the front, we want to place a black concrete to the left of the legs, 
And also, it's the same for the hoppers as well, like it wants to be a black concrete in this position. And the way that you detail these is you grab an item frame and a white concrete, and you place item frames in the sides of the black concretes, and you place white concretes in the item frames like that, and it's, it's just a really cool bit of detail. It's, it's the same on the other side, like whether you have the slab, you place a black concrete, and where you have the, the hopper, also you place the black concrete. And then it's just item frames with white concretes in there, and then it looks like uh, wheels coming out the side of Optimus, and I, I really like how that looks myself. I think that's really cool. Okay, now that we've done that, I think that the next order of business is going to be for us to complete Optimus's head. So, uh, whilst it uses a lot of the materials that I've just gotten rid of, I'm going to clear the inventory just to make it a bit easier. So, to make the head section, we need some light grey concrete, stone brick stairs, we need some block of gold, blue concrete, we need blue carpet, we also need some stone brick slams, uh, we also need some dark grey, we also need cobblestone wall, and then we can make the arms after and we'll need red and one additional material. So come all the way up to the top of the body, and Optimus's head is actually like, if, if you begin on the two red concrete blocks inwards from the yellow concrete blocks, like this block and this block, place a light grey concrete, like here and here and place upside down stone brick stairs between. Place behind all of this, place blue concrete. Extend the middle blue concrete upwards by one, and place gold left and right. Place blue concrete to the left of the blue and the gold, and blue concrete to the right of the blue and the gold, like that. We then want to place blue directly on top of all of that. And then we want to take the very middle of the top of the head and place an upside down stone brick stair with a blue concrete left and right. Place blue on top of the blue and place a solid block of stone brick in between the blue. And also place a single blue carpet on top of the stone brick. Okay. We then want to take the entire head and you want to place a row of blue directly behind the, the back of the entire head, like this. And that also includes like the very top of the head as well. So like the, the shape that you're looking for, you're pretty much looking for this. You want to take the back two corners of the head, like you want to take this block and extend it outwards using a blue concrete and then up. And then you want to take this block as well, extend it outwards and up, like that, so it's kind of like viking horns, which is kind of cool. You want to take the very top of the back, which is the red uh, concrete, and you want to place a grey concrete in the right corner and the left corner, and you want to place a cobblestone wall on top of each of these blocks, and also two light grey moving down from the block, so like one, two, one, and two, like that. That is, uh, I, that, that's a significant part of Optimus. It's like, you know, on the truck version there, where you can see, like, uh, like the cobblestone wall on top and everything like that. That's, that's that part of the truck, like, built into Optimus. It's kind of cool. I like that feature quite a lot. And from the front, we have something which looks like this, which is awesome. I love this. Okay, let's make his arms. His arms are a bit tricky, but yeah, I'm sure we'll get through this. Okay, so if you come all the way up to the top middle part of the statue, like what you're looking for is this block of red here in between like the three blocks of red. And you want to place from this block of red, you want to place three red concrete moving outwards. One, two, and three, like that and then place a row of red underneath, like that, and then starting from the right underneath, place a light grey, one to the left, light grey underneath, like that, you then want to place a red left of the light grey like this, extend the red down by two, one, two, and then inwards, like that, you actually need another material that we don't have. You need Neverbrick Stairs, and you want to place a Neverbrick Stairs... Um... Yeah, no, you don't want to place the Neverbrick Stairs yet. Uh, you then want to place underneath the red, you want to place 
blue concrete. And then extend the blue concrete to the right one. And place blue underneath, like this. So this is the sort of shape that we have so far. And we're not quite done yet. We also want to come all the way up to the top of the arm. And we want to take the outer two blocks at the top of the arm. And we want to extend them up each by one to give us this shape. Right? Perfect. Okay, this is where the arm gets far more detailed. We want to take these blocks of the arm and we want to extend them towards us. We want to take this blue block, the one to the right of it, and then the entire top row of blue, extend it all towards you, and that creates like a fist shape. Take all of the red concrete blocks here and extend them towards you. Take the bottom left-hand corner light grey concrete, extend it towards you, the one above, the one to the right. Extend the red concrete blocks above the light grey concrete towards you, and the one to the left, and the two on the end to the left as well, like this one and this one. And that will give you a pretty decent looking arm. The only thing that I have left that, uh, that I plan on adding is I want to add, I think it's just, oh, it's, it's on top of the blue concrete here that connects the red to the blue. Just place sideways facing, uh, never brick stairs, like that. So that's pretty cool, right? And that's Optimus's arm. We only have one arm left to make. Now let's move on to the other side. So we're going to be coming all the way up to the top middle part on the right hand side now. And we want to find this middle red concrete block this one, and extend it outwards from the body by three. One, two, three. And you want to take those last two blocks and extend them upwards, like that. But you also want to take those three blocks and extend them downwards as well. And then you want to take the last two red blocks on the, um, actually you want to take the two inner blocks and you want to place Two light grey concrete coming down, like here and here, the two inner red blocks. And then another row of red con of light grey concrete coming down. You then want to extend the bottom right hand side of the light grey to the right, using your red concrete. Place two red concrete coming down, one, two. And then extend it inwards by one row. Then... Place a never brick stairs to the left of the bottom left red concrete. And place blue concrete underneath the stair and the red. Add another row of blue underneath. And that is the sort of shape that we want to have. Now, let's add more detail. So, these are the blocks that you want to extend forward. If we start at the bottom right hand corner of the blue concrete, you extend this block forward and this one to the left, the entire row of blue up above it. We also want to extend the stair forward as well, and all of these red concrete blocks in this cluster. We want to extend all but the bottom lower corner like grey concrete towards us, and then we want to place red concrete blocks above the light grey, and then extend to the right one, and we want to place on top of this red concrete, a, a red concrete, and one to the left. And that will give us something which should look exactly like this. And this is Optimus Prime fully complete. That's a really cool statue. But absolutely, definitely worth making if you like Transformers. This was possibly one of the more fun builds that I've made recently. I really enjoyed making and designing the statue. I think it's awesome. If you guys liked it as well, please do remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate that. I honestly would. It helps me out so, so much. If you want to keep up to date with the channel, please remember to subscribe and click the little bell next to the subscription button to ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. If you would like to make more Transformers content, please check out the card system and the description below. I've already made Optimus Prime in his truck form, and I've also designed Bumblebee in his car form and his robot form as well. Plus, I mean, I just build loads of stuff on the channel, whether it be cartoon related content, movie related content, you know, fun, modern houses, suburban. I, I do so much stuff, guys, on the channel. Please check out the card system and the description below.
it'll have everything you absolutely want. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. I really do appreciate it. I really love every single one of you that do support the channel. Click the little bell, that subscribe, that comment down below, that like the videos. Thank you so much for being great and loyal subscribers and watchers. I really do appreciate you. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.